Hello, I'm Bella David is my name. Welcome to my extra lecture video. In this lecture video, I'm going to teach us how to record macro. Let's get started. Now, I have this report. It's a monthly report. We have for January, February, all through to the month of June. And we actually want to record all this bunch of steps. Now, let's go ahead and record. So, I'm going to come to the developer tab. Click on record. Or I can do it from here. Anyone. Then, in my record macro, I'm going to just call it monthly underscore report. So to run the macro, so I'm going to use Ctrl Shift S, then click OK. Now we're ready. So we want to calculate the total sales. So I'm going to use some function. So Ctrl Shift down arrow, Ctrl Enter, Ctrl Shift 4 to apply my currency, then widen the column. Then that is it. Now let's go ahead to do the average. So I'm going to use the average function. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, Control Enter, Control Shift 4. Absolutely mouseless. Now let's calculate the total sales for least old ST type. So I'm going to use the sum ifs function. So my sum range is going to be my sold price, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, comma. So my criteria range is going to be, this is the range where we have it. Control shift down arrow, control backspace. Then I want to check the list old. So I'm going to put in double quotes, list old, then close my double quotes, close my sum if, control enter, control shift four. Now, can we see the total sales is 1,815,000 plus. Now let's calculate the average sales for greater London County. So for that, I'm going to use the average ifs. So again, my average range is my sold price, control, down arrow, control, backspace, comma. And my criteria, range one is going to be my counting, control, down arrow, control, backspace, comma. And my criteria one, I want to check for greater London, then close that my double quotes, close my average is control, enter, control, shift, four. Absolutely. Now let's go and extract the year. So I'm going to use the year function. So my serial number is going to be this control enter. Then use my auto fill. Absolutely. The next one is to apply all borders. So I'm going to just control asterisk, then on tab borders, all borders. Then the next one is to apply currency format to the sold price. So Control shift down arrow, control shift four. We've done that, and the next one is to sort data by sold price from largest to smallest. So I'm going to right click, sort from largest to smallest. Next one is to apply list validation to sales manager. So I'm going to come to cell H2, then I'm going to just go to my data tab. Um, data validation under settings want to apply list my source is going to be this sheet one and these are all the names of my sales manager enter now we are true with that one we have it automatic the next one is to apply new rule conditional formatting to sales manager so i'm going to just control shift right arrow control down control shift down rather control backspace now go to my own tab um, conditional formatting and want to apply a new rule so I'm going to use a formula to the time which says to format then for my format formula so I'm going to say all right um, if this one so I'm going to just you know remove the dollar sign in front of row 6 because I actually want it to be to lock the column not the row so F412 so I'm going to check if that equals to the selected value, the sys manager in set H2, that's going to be absolute fine. Now let's go ahead and apply format. So click on format. Let's just apply. Let's italicize it, and let's go to fill, and let's use you know red fill or any color. And okay, okay. Now can you see because we currently select little beans, all the sys for little bean has been selected. Now let's see one more for fib heading. Okay, let's scroll down. Okay, we have fib headings, no sales. 
now let's see for someone like Nicholas Dean can you see absolutely so I'm gonna stop recording my macro now let's go to cell I'm sorry sheet for February so I'm gonna just press ctrl shift s absolutely the report has been automated now let's see can you see let's run it for the month of March Control shift s wonderful absolutely we don't need to actually go through all the steps again and of course you can see the total sales is eight million one two two thousand for February it's around six million five thirty average is two three three thousand plus and two six one for March for January it's two five eight and so on and so forth I hope you enjoy my video thank you and comment below Bye for now.